Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me on the Katherine Smith Podcast. Today, I'm going to give you some tips for writing a fundraising letter for a nonprofit. I write a lot of letters asking people to donate to the University of Arizona, and I've developed some guidelines I think you'll find helpful. In addition to those guidelines, I'll share some specific examples. We'll go through first and second paragraphs, then supporting text. Then we'll talk about how to close your letter and what to put in the PS. So, what's a good way to start a letter like this? I'll tell you what you don't want to do, and that's dive in with a request for donation immediately. Instead, start by drawing the reader in. If possible, set a scene. I'm going to read you the first paragraph of a letter I recently wrote on behalf of UA President Robert Robbins. He started his job as president less than a year ago. It says, I wish I could personally introduce you to each of the students, educators, and advocates I've met since becoming the University of Arizona's president. This is a community of believers and doers. In the past few months, I've seen thousands of its members show up, in person and online, to share ideas and perspectives for shaping our new strategic plan. This paragraph tells what the experience has been like for President Robbins and makes readers part of the excitement. Now it's time for the second paragraph, and that's the best time to make your first request for a donation. If you wait much longer than that, you risk annoying people. No one likes to read a letter and find out only at the end that they're being asked for money. So once you've drawn the reader in, ask by writing something like, please give to the English Student Scholarship Fund. Don't ask them to consider giving. That isn't direct enough. Then you'll write a few paragraphs of supporting material on why the gift is worthwhile. In my scholarship fundraising letters, I usually include a mini letter, which is placed to one side, from a student who has benefited from that scholarship. It makes a big impact when a student says they've been able to focus on their studies instead of working in fast food. When you get to the end, repeat your request for a donation. Again, use direct language along the lines of, I hope you'll give to the English Good Student Scholarship Fund today. Finally, a PS is a great idea because it's eye-catching and some readers won't read anything else. In a recent letter, I wrote a PS about the student who was quoted in the mini letter I described. It said, I'm proud to tell you that Mike will graduate in May and he has a job as an accountant waiting for him. This PS showed that the scholarship helped the student succeed. For anyone who skipped straight to the PS, it may have made them curious to read about Mike. So, those are my tips for writing a nonprofit fundraising letter. Thanks for listening. If you need help with a fundraising campaign or if you have other needs related to writing and editing, please get in touch. Join me again soon on the Katherine Smith Podcast.